Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Sin JJ. Today we're coming back with a video talking about this MatchX M2 Pro Miner. Basically, you can uh, mine this MXC token and of course on you can mine Bitcoin as well. And of course, in this video, we're going to cover how much can you mine. Is it like 1 Bitcoin, 2 Bitcoin or 100 Bitcoin within like I don't know how many days. So in this video, we're going to basically find out what are the basically the numbers that I'm seeing over on the app itself, which I'm going to show you with true, uh, full transparency. And of course, uh, disclaimer itself, I would say this content itself is not sponsored by them, not paid to do so i'm just here to basically venture out with whatever i have uh, whatever affiliate money they have received from other projects and after that from there diving into all these kind of hardware sort of passive income so for you guys to basically see and after that i test it out first before you guys can make a decision if you want to buy it or not so here i would say yes i do have an affiliate link down below is to help the channel out uh, by basically doing free contents and after that from there you guys can just use the link and after that from there get a 50 euro off on this miner itself if you want to buy it and of course i would say there's no additional cost for you whatsoever it's a win-win situation for you and of course for me as well so i would say um of course whatever it is do not put your whole life savings buying this kind of miner and after that from there thinking that it has a resale value or something like that if you want to know more about it, it has been done on my previous video basically on the playlist itself which is going to pop up just click on the playlist to understand more about this m2 pro and of course, right now, we are going to, without further ado, we are going to do a small recap on this M, uh, M Match X M2 Pro Miner, basically talking about the Bitcoin mining and stuff, I, which basically I've done previously on the con uh, content itself. We're going to do a recap for those who are new to the channel. Alright, so on the previous video itself, I talked about basically you can mine Bitcoin without using huge electricity, like using the ASIC miner, which consumes like 3,000 over watts per, per kilo hour. And after that, I would say, um, this over here does not really cost you a bomb to operate. And after that, I would say the price relatively is comparable uh, compared to the ASIC itself is similar to similarly i would say it's almost the same price and after that i would say that uh, not really almost the same price but of course i'm gonna do a uh, dive down later on and after that i would say over here on this content itself it's gonna pop up if you want to uh, learn more about it click on it so in the content itself, I basically talk about uh, my personal history with MXC and after that basically do a small recap update on how much have I generated and of course over here what is the M2 Pro Miner which I'm not going to go through over here and of course how do you mine without the ASIC. So over here this is the content that I made previously and after that it was on like a 2 days countdown towards the mining of this um, Bitcoin using the MXC, the M2 Pro Miner itself and I would say that um, we are going to do a... Uh, a recap i mean like a, a history basically right now i'm going to show you how much bitcoin i find mine using this match x m2 pro miner so basically a history of this itself i would say a recap itself if let's say you want to buy this device itself it is guaranteed i would say it's not really guaranteed but of course it is promised to basically generate you from ten dollars all the way to fifteen dollars and after that from here itself i already done like a spreadsheet talking about how long how fast if you uh, you can arrive if let's say you are hitting the maximum and of course the minimum so for the minimum itself you need to have 288 days to arrive on the device itself basically pure uh, purely um, generating this mxc token and after that i would say if let's say you're lucky enough to hit the 15 dollars milestone you're basically breaking even in 190 days less than 200 days and of course on bitcoin itself you can see uh, some history itself this is the mxc they have mined and of course on my personal record itself this over here is the snapshot that i have done and after that from here i will say the health score itself matters quite a lot if you do not know watch the previous content and you understand more about it so over here you can see that i've done some uh, little snapshot about my journey and after that eventually i've generated like almost a thousand over dollars in mxc just my holding it by hope mining it since the start of march 3rd all the way to basically it's already six months plus i mean uh, three months plus and after that generated around a thousand over dollars using this M uh, m2 pro miner which i would say it is quite insane to be honest and of course on top of that this is a plus on for you guys that want to mine bitcoin itself so for my case itself i started the bitcoin mining uh scheme which is over here i'm just going to show it to you yep so over here on my miner itself uh wallet over here, I started this game itself um, on the 23rd of June. So over here, on the 23rd of June, I started the bonding period. Basically, you if you want to start mining um, Bitcoin using the M2 Pro itself, you need to have five at least 5,000 MXC bonded with them. Basically, you need to go to the exchange to buy 5,000 MXC and transfer it over. And after that, over here, you can basically use your M2 Pro itself to lock up to basically mine Bitcoin. So if, let's say, you have multiple devices, yes, you will need to have uh, 5,000 MXC each for each device so if let's say you have like 10 uh, m2 pro miner you want to basically stake all 10 of it to mine bitcoin itself yes you can do it but of course you need to have the startup capital of 5000 mxc which is relatively i would say cheap to run as of now i would say we can look at the price of mxc 
So 5,000 MXC itself, you need to additional cost of like 400 over US dollar for you to basically buy this MXC to stick it on the chip on the platform itself to basically mine. And after over here, I can just show you some history. If I click on mine itself, you can click on bond. And over here, you just need to know some uh, basic knowledge itself. So over here, there's a lockup period of 60 days. And after that, you need to have at least one M2 Prime miner with a minimum health of 90%. So if let's say you started off mining like day one itself and you have this 5,000 there, I believe that 90% itself, you need to wait for like maybe two, three days for the health to basically recover towards 90% or even more. And after that, I would say this over here, just keep it online 24-7. And after that, you will basically be able to reach the health score of 90% and of course over here the second condition is to lock up 5000 MXC for 60 days and after that you need to basically yeah the cooling period itself is 5 days cooling period after the bond period is off so basically to 65 days for you to lock up and after that from there you can withdraw all your whatever it is that you want and after that, over here you can cancel your bond within 48 hours so as an example within 60 days itself it has really been uh, your contract is expired and after that you want to uh, stop mining itself you can basically just debond it and after that from there within 48 hours if not it will basically auto renew for another 60 days so you have to really keep note and of course put into the calendar so over here without further ado i'm just going to show you some of the data it's not really showing over here on this tab itself basically this is the the part where you see the mine uh, over here this over here stay uh, 54 days left and after that from there you can see that my uh, i mean like somehow buggy is showing offline doesn't matter but i'm just going to show you the facts over here bonded on the 23rd of june and after that over here uh 54 days more to go so technically i've already mined for six days and after that over here i'm just going to do a result so over here from 23 to 28 itself it is around six days and after that, within these six days i've generated around three dollars in bitcoin at the price of 20,000 if let's say um yeah i mean we can just do a calculation how much is per day so we have the calculator is here so this amount divided by six days and after that one day i'm earning around 59 cents uh without a huge cost of electricity and after you might be thinking okay so why not i just buy an asic miner over here we can just head over to bitmain and after that from there we can see how much an asic miner costs and we're gonna do a comparison so we here Okay, so for the most affordable one is basically the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Miner X19, which is now at three thousand, almost four thousand dollars. And after that, you might want to buy this. This is excluding the shipping fee. So if let's say include the shipping fee and everything, that the whole whopping cost is basically four thousand five hundred, for example. And after that, this is a ninety-five tera hash, and after that, consuming around three thousand two hundred and fifty watt. On top of that, you must know whatever you are entering into this itself. So I'm just gonna put in ninety-five, and after that, from there, the watt cost is three two five zero. Uh, and for example, maybe your electricity cost is 10 cent per day uh yeah basically 10 cent per kilowatt so over here you can see one day itself you are earning 6 60 cent which is almost the same uh yeah basically almost the same as whatever you are doing with the m2 pro miner and after that if let's say you look at the electricity cost itself i mean this over here it is what you are um getting but of course if you offset it you're like offset the electricity cost you're earning about the same amount basically 60 cents per day in bitcoin if let's say every day you're earning and after you're selling your bitcoin to basically cover the electricity cost and after that eventually you will net around 60 cents if let's say you do it for for a period of time basically you can see one month itself your electricity cost is gonna cost you easily 234 dollars if let's say on average itself you are earning you are getting like 0 0.1 kilowatt per hour and of course for m2 pro miner itself you have to know that this miner itself does not consume much electricity and after that i would say the consumption is very little and of course on top of that i'm mining this 60 cents almost 59 cents over here 59 cents and it i don't know what basically round up to 60 cents almost 60 cents per day i mean not per day but of course in the cost of like six days itself i'm earning uh, i mean yeah per day is basically 60 cent and after that over here this amount itself is per day and after that you know that this i pay nothing on electricity so technically it is almost the same and of course buying a bit main miner itself over here the s19 four thousand dollars it is almost the same price as the mx the m2 pro miner itself the m2 pro is 2100 with a promo code you get a 50 euros off so i would say about the same number over there in, uh, instead it's cheaper also compared to buying the whole bb miner and after that from there you have to account for electricity and everything so we can do some uh, conversion so we're here for your euro itself just take it without promo code or whatever you are getting like this amount you are paying this amount for the 
for the M2 Pro Miner. On top of that, you need to have 5,000 of this token itself. Basically, we can just do some simple math and after that, see what's the true cost of basically staking if let's say as of today you buy it and everything so basically you need to have around two thousand seven hundred dollars for example or let's say we just do it a round up of two thousand eight hundred with uh, shipping costs and everything included or tax whatever two thousand eight hundred dollars uh, for this miner itself in us you are getting this for two thousand eight hundred and after that from there you can mine it for with zero electricity so i would say electricity cost itself for this m2 pro is slightly cheaper so technically you're not paying anything virtually you are earning 60 cents per day with this m2 pro and after that, i would say that this over here is as good as buying a bit main miner basically over here as good as buying the s19 so over here i would say if you want to compare it like this or whatsoever go ahead and do a comparison but of course i would say overall i would say the m2 pro itself on top of earning this amount of bitcoin this amount of bitcoin that you're earning 60 cents per day you are still earning from 10 to 15 dollars in mxc so i would say the miner itself is the more more valuable uh miner to buy as of now but of course you want to talk about the resale value or whatsoever the bit main miner itself is much more uh much more preferable if let's say you want to buy and after then mine for six months and resell it, it it will still have some sort of value but of course previously this s19 was almost whooping fifteen thousand or even twenty thousand so the depreciating value uh, set itself is very fast this um, this miner itself depreciate very fast because of the new and newer miner itself. You can see this is doing 95 tera, uh, tera hash. This over here is doing two, 255 tera hash, and after that, it is basically causing like six times more than it. So, technically, I mean, like you can look at the comparison, basically, they are coming up with more and more. Um, monsterish like a miner itself doing more and more terra hash and of course of course the electricity consumption more and more itself so technically i would say every time they release a new one basically the old ones will get cheaper 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 eventually it will be worthless and after that from there i would say more 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 people will say it is not it is not preferable to mine with the X19, like let's say two or three years down the road. If let's say the mine, uh, they manage to I don't know come up with the SS19 or whatever, doing uh one gig uh one peta hash or something like that. So over here I would say every time it is evolving, and after that I would say for the MX, the M2 Pro itself is much more safer in the side if you want to call it that way. But of course I would say the project itself is slightly centralized and everything. So there's another factor to factor in into let's say you want to start mining or whatsoever. So without further ado, where can I purchase this M2 Pro miner if let's say you're convinced to buy one? Simple, just head over to the video, scroll down, and after that, click on this uh, option itself, the view uh the show more over here you can just click on this show more and after that over here you can see you can buy your own m2 pro miner today using my link and of course using this affiliate code itself you will get a 50 euros off your invoice and after that over here you can just click on it and after that click on let's say where wherever you are just select um as per normal so for my case i'm just gonna choose the rest of the world and after that add to cut so it's basically 2400 now instead of 2100 so technically the cost itself is relatively the same to the big main miner so over here you can see there's some bug they did not put it and after that over here you can pay by yeah you can pay by crypto you can pay by uh, whatever card that you have and after that over here the estimated shipping itself for example we're gonna do singapore zip code uh, let me try my old address Alright, so another $50 for shipping and after that click on checkout and after that you can just apply the promo code um, Do not have it. I mean like it's not showing so I'm just gonna log in So here after signing up an account just enter the promo code and click on apply and after that from there You will have a discount code being entered which is the 50 euros off you might think that it is Yeah, it's small but of course if let's say you talk about it. Yeah, that you are technically Getting it for free for shipping itself, you can cover the shipping cost with this 50 euros or obviously your ROI period. If you want to count it into whatever it is, the spreadsheet that you're using or whatsoever, just use it. And after that, from there, you can yeah basically save some bucks. And of course, it's a bank for value, something like that if you want to call it that way. So I basically come to the end of the video. If you like the video, kindly leave a thumbs up to my channel. And of course, I mean to this video, subscribe to my channel and of course turn on post notification. And of course, we can see on the see you on the next one. Like basically, whatever content I'm doing, it is crypto related. And of course, if let's say you want to watch more of this update itself, just let me know on the comment section. And of course, give me let me know about your thoughts about this uh, buying an M2 Pro or let's say you want to buy a bit main miner or something and then go into full on ASIC miner. Just let me know about your thoughts and of course the cons about this uh, ASIC 
plastic mining itself is basically the heat and of course the sound itself I would say is quite loud and of course and it is quite heaty and of course if you want to talk about the the hydro one of course there's not much sound because it's using water, uh, liquid cooling but the rest itself is using the fan and after that it sounds like a hair dryer blowing 24 7 at your apartment and uh, let's say you are gonna sleep with it not recommended because there's a new somebody slept with their async miner and they got hit stroke about it and after that from there somehow died from it or something like that so i would say not recommended to put the async miner in your room if let's say you are sleeping in it because it is very heaty and it can cause a lot of heat so i will say see you on the next one and of course bye bye peace